This is Evgeny, and every day he wakes up in three, two, one. Ten minutes for breakfast seemed too much for him, but the calculations could not be seen. 965 kilocalories provided Hilgeni's body with the necessary amount of protein, fat and carbohydrates before the lunch break. Hilgeni put on his butterfly tie, which means that his workday has begun. Good morning, Diana. What do we have for today? You have two urgent trips, three planned ones, 9,000 anniversary tasks, and one proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, what's wrong with Pythagoras? It was a joke, ha ha ha. Have a nice day, Yevgeny. Thank you, Diana. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the triumphal monument, the Alexander Column the project of August Montserrat in honor of the victory of Russia over Napoleon. There is a remarkable fact. The structure, weighing 600 toes, is not fixed in any way and is not dug into the ground. Excuse me, but if it's not fixed in any way, how can we be sure that it will not fall down on us at any moment? You can be totally sure. The fact is that Montferrand, among other things, had two tasks. To determine the shape of the column and the method of its installation. The visual perception of such monuments depends on the ratio of the upper and lower diameter and the outline of the outer contours. Montferrand turned to Lama, calculated the required diameter and the line of curvature. Thus, the column with a height of 47.5 meters is kept exclusively under its own weight thanks to the precise calculations of the great mathematician. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Math mobile, please. The signal was coming from the cross of street, and Evgeny estimated that it would take him 717 seconds. 715 seconds. 715 seconds to get to the place, including time for all the traffic lights. Meanwhile, Maria was going to school, but she didn't know whether to bring an umbrella or not. If I go without an umbrella, it will definitely rain and I will get wet. And if I take an umbrella with me and it will not rain, my classmates will laugh at me. I think I'll leave it. Wait. Evgeny, can you help me? I've been so indecisive this morning. Diana, send me the data from the nearest weather stations. I'm sending you data from 200 weather stations in St. Petersburg as the nearest region. Temperature, pressure, wind speed. So now we take the Euler equations and substitute our data, then discretize them in time and space and turn them into a system of linear equations. The probability of rain is... 42%. It's quite a lot, Maria. If I were you, I'd take an umbrella. That's less than half. Yes, but don't forget what city we live in. You've getting said goodbye to Maria and just in 13 minutes and 36 seconds later, he was already having lunch at his favorite restaurant. Have you enjoyed everything, Evgeny? The bowl is damn good as ever. Bring me the bill, please. Just a minute. Uh, Evgeny, since you're here, could you please help us with something or other someone? This is Victor, and he can't decide how many breakfasts will be included in the new menu for all this morning. Okay, no more words. Give me five minutes. And one cup of tea, without sugar. Stop. Damn it! 
Victor, my name is Evgeny. Let me help you. How can you help me, young man? I've been seated here uh, all morning. And why have I decided to make this new menu? Anyway, how many dishes do you plan to serve for breakfast? <sighs> for the first course, we have a... Uh, we have buckwheat, uh, uh, oatmeal, rice, uh, semolina, uh, mm, mealy or corn porridge. They are very, very useful for stomach. Okay, uh, will there be something for the porridge? Yes, uh, two buckwheat and semolina porridge, toast with cheese or sausage. Uh, is needed and uh, to the rest of the porridge mm, pancakes pancakes with one of ten mm, fillings uh, drinks drinks include tea coffee um, and uh, fruit drinks but fruit drink shouldn't be served if there was a pancake with a berry filling. Uh, is it all? Yes. Yes, I don't think that I forgot anything. Okay, uh, 72 breakfasts with berry pancakes, uh, 108 with toasts, and 432 with other pancakes. I don't know what to say. It's unimaginable. It's just combinatorics. Uh, and I think it will be easier for visitors if they make breakfast themselves, then spend with your new menu. Uh, three hours, 24 minutes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would have been here forever without you. Uh, no problem, you. no problem. After lunch, Yevgeny went to the service. It took some minutes and parametric adjustment to find exact height of Lacta skyscraper's new floor. Then Evgeny went to the office and, thanks to mathematical analysis, increased the revenues of companies, which staff will get monthly bonuses. Moreover, Evgeny even helped to make this video. In the meantime, it was 12 hours for the 8 minutes post meridian and Evgeny was about to go to opening ceremony, when suddenly... Evgeny, you have an incoming video call. To accept? Help! I I've just arrived at St. Petersburg Airport. Uh, I want to go to the opening ceremony, and I'm running late, so I'm not going to go to the hotel. Uh, I want you to get me there, please. But I'd like to go over each bridge of the Neva River exactly once. Can you help me, please? Give me 30 seconds and remember the route. Diana, give me the coordinates of all bridges on the Neva. Here are the coordinates of 45 bridges. Let's use graph theory. Put vertices and edges. Check the degrees of the vertices. Yes, Jeff, your problem is solvable. Now we need to find the optimal path. The route is built. 